really speechless. But when I received word that we had not received one dime from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, I very much found myself speechless. In fact, before I responded to the meeting, I had to take a moment to compose myself because I knew that saying what I felt uh, initially would not have been appropriate. Those words probably would have come back to haunt me for many years to come. <laughs> but now that I've had some time to compose myself, I can tell you that the anger and the fury is certainly not has not dis dissipated in any way, shape, or form. And Congressman Ryan, when he said it, had it absolutely right that if our application missed the mark, then the mark was in the wrong place. And I can't think of a more succinct and direct way to say that. I have no doubt that the application that was put together by the consortium that is represented here from Youngstown, Warren, and several other communities in the Mah Mahoning Valley was as competitive as any other application. Now, there's a practical side to this, and there's a political side to this. In a few minutes, you're going to hear folks who are going to be involved in pursuing the practical side, and we certainly are going to help them. But I want to talk just for a minute about the political side. And Congressman Ryan talked about the days of uh, elected officials in Columbus and in Washington, D.C., coming to the Mahoney Valley and giving us lip service and taking for granted the support we will give them. Those days are over. And I say that because four years ago, I ran as an independent for the mayor of the city of Youngstown, having been a registered Democrat for my entire life and been very proud of that, I did run as an independent. And that last year, when it came time for me to run again, I was asked by a number of people, was I going to again run as an independent? In fact, I was encouraged by a lot of people to run as an independent. I made the decision to run as a Democrat because I, was, I had been registered as a Democrat my entire life and I had supported the administration, but with this most recent series of events, I have to legitimately wonder uh, is this community, was this community best served by that decision?